Let's get into it. The leak, by the way, you can find links within the video description. It was posted on 4chan.org, where a lot of early stuff surfaces. So he starts the leak stating the raid is called The Last Wish. This was confirmed by Bungie via the TWAB last Thursday. Within the this week at Bungie, they confirmed to be called The Last Wish and it will be coming out 10 days after the Forsaken releases on September 14th. This leak states there will be 6 main bosses to the raid. The final boss is called Du Inkaru. This is believed to be an Ahamkara, basically a big ass dragon looking mofo. We also have Kyria Blade Transform, Veritoth the Perfect Raven, Korvos the Binding Corruption, Primus Korg, Might of Savathun, and Kalkis the Forgotten Kel. So we have some meaty sounding bosses for sure, and Bungie did state it's the biggest raid ever, with a lot of bosses, so that's great. Within the raid, you start off within the Keep Voices upon the Dreamy City and venture into the realm known as Eliasin, I believe that's pronounced, sounds epic. I cannot wait to get going in this raid, I really can't, especially if the final boss is indeed a Heart and Kara, that is going to be so great. Moving on, towards the end of the campaign, we know according to Game Informer, mid battle with Aldrin, he is called to the Dreaming City. Other leaks suggest he is killed by a giant creature upon opening the gates to the Dreaming City. This leak states he is significantly injured by the Dull Hinkaru, but not killed. Fiku then drives the dragon off and transmats him elsewhere. If you are unsure who Fikrul is, he is the leader of the Scorn Barons. The eight barons we have to chase throughout the campaign with the Forsaken. Now this is the first we have seen a dual Inkaru called a dragon, so that's super cool. The leap then states the final mission sees us taking down Fikrul and finishing off Uldren, both whom have become ascendant and empowered by taking energy in this final mission. Now that sounds pretty damn epic. Now listen to this, Dulinkaru is a taken Ahamkara formerly known as Riven and is the last surviving member of her race. Now we saw Datamind Warlock armor 100% confirmed to be in the game and part of this armor's lore actually mentions Riven. The Rivery Dawn Bond lore states and Riven she used to sit in the shade of those wings, laugh at the riddles that rumbled in that mercurial throat. The creature is all teeth and broken promises, transformed by the expectations of another Shaming secretive sister. So the lore to this new Forsaken with Redorn armor also mentions Riven, the last Ahamkara, so that's cool. The leak then states she has corrupted the Dreaming City and we hunt her down after finishing off Aldrin. Aldrin, according to this leak, is trying to rescue Marusov, his sister, the Queen who has been imprisoned by Savathun in the guise of Techie and Lin. Savathun and Lin flee at the end of the story and the Queen is rescued. Forsaken's ending features Savathun conversing with an unknown entity regarding the Traveller and the Light. This I will guess to be the darkness and probably will set up the next major expansion for sure. The Forsaken has 11 story missions with 4 new strikes, this we know. There are additional side missions and a dungeon activity known as the Shattered Throne. This we have seen mentioned in many other recent leaks too. The leak then ends stating Toland is present in the Forsaken expansion. This again has been mentioned in other leaks. And that guys is the end of this leak. Damn, that was major. Learning a lot about what happens and what is going on. Also knowing the raid boss is a dragon, a taken Ahamkara known as Du Inkaru, absolutely great. And the five other bosses sound cool too. People, I cannot wait to dive in. I also look forward to seeing Aldrin getting torn apart but not killed, leaving enough left of him for us to punish the nasty bastard for, for killing our beloved Cade. But yeah guys, on that note, I am out. Tell me what you think about this link down below in that comment section.